بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد Fasting is so great that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned in so many verses in the Quran that is an expiation for sins. And it's an expiation for some of the major sins like killing. That if a person kills by accident or various other sins or shortcomings in one's uh, certain acts of ibadah like hajj and so forth that shows us the greatness the greatness of fasting for example Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in surah al-baqarah qala subhana al-fidyatun min siyamin o sadaqa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says al-fidya al-fidya meaning to give uh, you know to pay the 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 compensation and that that a uh, uh, fidya for for the hajj that it would be through fasting or sadaqa by fasting or paying giving sadaqa giving charity and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also mentions for the expiation for the one who has killed someone accidentally, that it was an accident, and that you know that there's no qasas for them in that situation, maybe through an, an automobile accident or what have you. That in this situation, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, For men lem yajid for siyamu shahrain and mutatabi'in. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, for the one who is unable to fulfill those other things which uh, expiate a person's sins, then they should fast two consecutive months, letting us know the greatness of fasting, and that fasting is an expiation for even sins as great as, as killing someone accidentally. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says, as uh, you know, Let's us know that fasting also is an expiation for the person who has sworn to do something for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they didn't fulfill it, has made a vow. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, For men lem yajid for siyam thalatha ayam. That's in Surah Al Ma'idah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, that the one who is who who doesn't find it, meaning to finding a slave to to free, then they fast three days. Again, illustrating for us that fasting is so alim, it is so great, and that it is an expiation for our sins. So we should look forward to this holy month of Ramadan, and it shouldn't be a burden upon us. But in fact, it should be an opportunity for us to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to have our sins expiated, to make toba to Allah, repentance, coming closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and an opportunity to exercise patience and exercise restraining ourselves from sinfulness in order that perhaps it will be a habit, and la'allakum tatakun, in order that you will become. God fearful and God conscious that you know Allah is watching you and that you avoid what he has prohibited and due to the fact that you know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching you that you enjoin and do those things he has enjoined upon us he has commanded and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil anything I said that was correct was from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Anything that I said was incorrect was for myself and the shaitan. And may Allah forgive us for our sins and bless us in all our efforts to do good and forgive all of our sins. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad 
wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam